everyone I'm here today because what I'm going to be doing is a cauliflower stir-fry I am going to show you how to replace rice if you have a favorite for Chinese rice you could replace rice with cauliflower here so we have the cauliflower and up next here we we have a um, ton of vegetables. We have coriander, mushrooms, and a slaw here. And we have green onion. Tons of veggies to add to your stir fry. And we have your eggs that are already beat up because of course, what fried rice doesn't have eggs? So you have to have your eggs. Then we have onions there, red and yellow onions. And we have shrimp that we're gonna add. And I'm just gonna point my camera over to all of the herbs that I have and I'm going to zoom in. But pretty much we have the pesto, soya sauce, um, a mixture of different herbs here, garlic, we have some chicken seasoning, and we have a little bit of thyme, and we have here, of course, some olive oil that we'll be using uh, to stir fry the cauliflower. Okay, just point the camera back to what we're going to do. Get it right. Okay, so those are the ingredients and the next step I'll come back with the next step okay guys I'm back now what we're going to do is add the olive oil add a little oil to the pan there it's really hot and had a little water in there so, so we're going to let it get really hot and Okay guys, I'm back now. What I'm going to do is add the cauliflower here to the hot wok. And you may have to do this in batches because I have a lot of cauliflower here because I have a lot of people to feed. And this is stir fry, so... So we're just gonna, you know, get this cauliflower all nice and brown. Get it nice and toasty. Pretty much it's the same thing you do with rice. If you're doing a rice, you know, you wanna get your rice nice and brown. Toss it, keep tossing it. Until it gets the color of rice. And once it gets to a nice color, I'll come back with the next step. Now I'm back and uh, the cauliflower has a nice brown to it. I can show you guys here how it looks. It's a nice brown there. That's how you want it. And um, I'm just going to put that to the side. Put my cauliflower to the side here. And just pouring it up. And then we're going to do some of the veggies here. I'm going to do the mushrooms. Sear up my mushrooms. And we're gonna sear up some of the cauliflower here. Well, the slaw. And some green onions. I just wanna 
get this all nice and brown. Once we sear the mushrooms, we're going to put it to the side and go to the next step. So I'm just going to get this all nice and toasty for about a good five minutes. And We'll just re-add the cauliflower once it's nice and toasty. When you have a wok, it, you, you cook on high heat when you have wok. That's how the Chinese do, Chinese culture. They actually cook with fire. I like how they cook with fire. this to the side. I'll just put some to the side because I'm just doing an example of how to do this stir fry. And here's the cauliflower. We're just going to add some of the cauliflower. Remember the cauliflower we're replace, replacing it is acting as a rice instead of regular rice. And now, we're going to add some seasonings here. A little soya sauce to the stir fry. Stir it up. You see? It's nice, right? Add a little bit more of this sauce here. And now we're going to add a little of the garlic. And I'm going to add a little of the herbs here. Mix herbs. And this here is uh, just chicken seasoning that we're going to add to give it more of that Chinese flavor. let this um, fry up for another five minutes and then I'll come back with the next step so now I'm back I'm going to sear up the shrimp put a little oil in the pan and we're going to add a couple pieces of the shrimp here well we add the whole thing I might as well do it all I do things in batches because I shoot my videos to show you guys small examples and then to cook for my kids I um, I do the big batch after. So with the shrimp I like to add onions to the shrimp, sear it up all nicely. And you know, once the shrimp is all um, is to a nice color, then that's when you know that it's done. Turn it up a bit. It doesn't take long to cook the shrimp. So, I'm coming. after the shrimp is nice and ready, I'll come back with the next step. Okay, so the next step, um, we will be adding, we'll be um, frying up eggs, scrambled eggs for the stir fry. Just let this oil get nice and hot.
Okay, the next step we will be frying up eggs. Let's pour everything in. And uh, we just slowly go around the edges until the eggs become scrambled. You could see that they're already becoming scrambled in the middle. It's always nice to have a nice um, non-stick skillet when you're doing eggs. I hate the smell of burning eggs. So I have to have proper skillet. But yep, we're just letting the eggs cook up and once the eggs are ready we'll come back with the next step okay now I'm back the eggs have scrambled up really nicely as you can see here and we're just gonna put the eggs to the side So now we're going to just put everything together now. So, as you guys remember, the mixture that we had earlier with the cauliflower and all the different vegetables, and then we had the shrimp. We're gonna add some pieces of the shrimp And then we're going to add the eggs. Okay. Now this is the healthy way of doing a shrimp stir fry instead of using rice. Stir fry this up for another 10 minutes and then you come back with the plating of this nice Chinese dish. We'll come back. Okay guys I'm back now and we're just going to plate this dish. This is the nice cauliflower stir fry. that we made. You see how nice that is? And I'll just go closer. As you guys can see, it looks like shrimp fried rice. And I just add a little coriander. and a little bit more green onions. Did you see? Close up there. This is a nice stir fry here. Shrimp fried cauliflower instead of the rice. Nice alternative. So I hope you guys try this recipe. Hopefully you'll like it. And that's it. What is the surprise? Watching me.